couple years ago, they said I was done. I write something on my shoes every game and say, can't give up now. CP3, hotter than fish grease. Houdini in the house. It's like an old-time prize fight in the later rounds. We're going home to the best fans in the league. Do what we're supposed to do out of the last night. So game five, back at home. How scrappy a team can we expect out there on the court? Very, very. Uh, at this point of the season, um, there's no need to save anything. You got to leave it all, all out there on the court. You got to have that trust. And we didn't did it all season long, and uh, we didn't talk about it. I mean, if you started off the season and said, hey, we'll give you two out of three chances at home to win the uh, NBA championship, would you take it? And everybody said, hell yeah. So here we are. Here you are. You said after the game four loss, you weren't happy with those five turnovers you yeah. had. I know your scoring has dipped in every game of this series. What have you looked at as what you think the issue is and how are you going to fix it? Um, I mean, I looked at all different types of things, but for me, um, scoring isn't everything. You can make an imprint on the game in different ways, but with the shooting and the offensive firepower that we have, every time we turn the ball over, we take a chance away from that. So I got to be better in that department and just just uh, put my imprint on the game. In the locker room right after game four, Monty gave a little speech to you guys. Ever since I've been here, we talked about everything you want is on the other side of hard. This is hard. This is freaking hard. So you got to stick together. That's the deal, all right? How has that message stuck with you guys uh, ever since? That's sort of been our motto all season long. Uh, coach says that we say it as a team and um, we're here we in it your relationship with Monty has been such a great through line of all of this and when we look back to a decade ago when you guys were together in New Orleans how do you think you both have changed the most since then um besides appearance um, <laughs> <laughs> who's changed the most there probably me <laughs> probably me but uh, I think the biggest thing is I think we respect each other for who we are, and we both know that we both have been through a lot in our lives, him definitely more than me. Um, and so we, uh, we sort of understand each other a lot better. Uh, we understand the importance of conversations, especially hard conversations, and staying in the moment, enjoying the moment, and understanding uh, how long it took us both to get here, and we got to seize the opportunity. To have someone who knows you that well, not just knows where you started, but you two remain close even after you weren't working together anymore. Does that make sharing this moment together special to be here in this time? To tell you the truth, um, it does make it special to share it, knowing what you know we've both been through, especially him. Uh, but that's not going to win it for us. <laughs> you know, to tell you the truth, uh, all that's good and well, all the relationships, all the you know good feel good stories with our team is all good and well. But that's not going to win the game for us. At the end of the day. Uh, I always say nobody cares about your story unless you win it. Well, your story involved a lot of twists and turns. And the biggest crossroads recently was when you get traded to Oklahoma City. Mm. There's a lot of people who think, all right, I guess Chris is just going to finish out the rest of his career on a not competitive rebuilding team, and this is the end for Chris Paul. You start writing on your shoes, can't give up now. Yeah. There are players who would have just said, okay, I've had a good run. I don't want to fight this in battle anymore. What is it in you that said, oh, no, I'll be back on a stage like this. I don't know anybody who thought that probably don't, they don't know me, you know, and that's pretty much the story of our lives, everybody's lives. You know, we live in this sort of, uh, you know, this spotlight, you know, where everybody thinks they know you, but they don't. And so, um, you know, for me, trade happened. Uh, okay, you know, this is my team, cool. Uh, you get you get back to work, and this is a game. Like. I love to play this game, like I know this game. And so uh, to be here on this stage, it's special, it's, it's dope. I appreciate it, but I don't expect nothing less. After you got traded to the Suns, the very next day, there's video of you and Devin Booker working out together. And I've been thinking of that as you guys have been on this final stage. Was there anything in that moment back then that tipped you off? Not necessarily, hey, we're going to an NBA Finals, but oh, this is, this is gonna work. That day, uh, Trey happened, I hit Book. I was like, yo, can we get in the gym? And I knew Book. I hadn't really spent like that basketball time with him, but once I got with him, and it all it all always goes back to the knowing yourself. You know, so I know me and I know who I am and I know that I'll sacrifice whatever needs to happen in order for the cause. And getting to know Book, he's the same way. Coach is the same way, Jay Crowder is the same way, DA. And once you start bringing all these pieces together, 
you end up here. So all the ups and downs over 16 years, you have played more than 1,200 NBA games. The fact that you have put in all that work, all those hours of practice, all the stuff when no one's looking. If you can win a title, will it make the road more special, the fact that you actually traveled so hard to get here? It'll, it'll definitely be special, uh, definitely be special. But all those games uh, that I play, practices or whatnot, it, it leads you here. You know, it leads you here. Um, and that's always been my mindset. And so regardless what happened, I wouldn't trade that for anything. It's a whole lot of people out there who would love to have my job, <laughs> love to have my job. So uh, I, I, I don't take it for granted. I know I'm blessed and fortunate to be in this situation, but um, I, I got to have it. Well, you get a new hat, a new T-shirt, and a very shiny piece of hardware if you win. So One at a time. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.